office still there? Of course, no. I'm going to talk about weird stuff going down. <sighs> wow, am I hungry? Guess I'll stop that. Huh? You see the huge explosion? How are people here? Are you sure you haven't seen my... So, what is it? Train services have been... Well, I put him in charge myself. I've never felt the ground shake like that. What kind of person bombs a reactor? This bombing's changed all that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh -huh. I've never seen anything <laughs> like it before. Uh, it was like a giant candle lighting up the whole Sector spot. 8 was a nightmare. Fires everywhere. Huh. Mako is the lifeblood of the planet? Yeah, the hell it is. Goddamn eco warriors with their dumbass posters. I tear them down and they're back up inside of an hour. Like I've got nothing better to do. I mean, look at all that steelwork. You trying to tell me that's not progress? <laughs> What the? You okay, buddy? <sighs> Mako Junkie, huh? Figures. You again. Shower can't come soon enough. I can barely tell my skin from all the ash and sweat. When I get back, it's refueling time. Huh? Warning gate broken. Fiends in area. Exercise caution. No reason to check it out. Not my problem. Have you been a good girl? Yeah, I've been helping <laughs> Tifa. Oh, you did, did you? Well, well. <laughs> you made it. <laughs> Where'd you get that? I can't remember the last time I saw a real one. <laughs> huh? <sighs> How sweet. When did you get so thoughtful? Guy can change. Has been five years. Huh? I need to talk to Barrett. Right. Come on in. Daddy, the Mako place blew up. Everyone on TV's talking about it. Don't you worry about all that silliness. Daddy's here and he's not going anywhere tonight. 
Now turn that thing off and let's get you to bed, huh? Yeah, yeah, your money. Ask Tifa. She takes care of all that. Do you mind keeping Marlene company until I'm done with this? Me? Yeah, you. I do say that. What a good girl you are remembering daddy's lessons. <laughs> you know what else good girls do? They go to bed on time. Come on. But I'm not tired. I want to talk some more, daddy. Mm, all right. But just this once. <sighs> uh, so then, what can I get you? My money. I'm still waiting on it. Uh, right. About that, we should talk outside. <sighs> um, Daddy, did the people who died all return to the planet? Of course. Before we get on to money, there's an empty apartment in a place just down the road. It's nothing fancy, but I was thinking you could stay there for now. The landlady's a big friend of the cause, so you wouldn't even have to pay rent. Sound good? Sure does. Thanks. <laughs> Follow me then. How was it up on the plate? It was chaotic. When Sorry for dragging you into all this. It was wrong of me to put you in danger like that. I, heard I about promise that I won't do it again. Dangerous part of the job. Don't worry about me. Hmm. I'll try not to. Always happy to help stick it to Shinra. Hmm. Not good at all. So, you make nice with everyone? Much as I could, all things considered. Maybe not enough for them. Good. You had me worried. You're not exactly a people person. I'll give you that. I saw Sector 8 on the news. It was like a war zone. The news is just another Shinra mouthpiece. They'll spread whatever lies Shinra tells them to. Think they'll so, attack Sector 7? it wasn't the that bad? It themselves. was. Oh, right. And here we are, good old Stargazer Heights. You're on the second floor. Room 201 here is where I sleep. Don't have time for much else, what with 7th Heaven and all. <laughs> Not even time to decorate. Here's your room, 202. Don't worry, I already told the landlady about you. You did? Yes? Oh. I mean, I told her I had a friend looking for a place to stay. Was that too much? No. It's fine. And this? That one's, uh... Know what? It's getting late. I'll introduce you tomorrow. a little bare, but should be enough to get you through the night. If you want anything else, we can always there get There is it. one thing. My money. You guys owe me 2,000, remember? I do. And we'd love to settle up, especially since this was your first job for us, but... That's it? Sorry. We spent the rest preparing for the mission. That really is it. But not for long. I'm collecting money for filters tomorrow, so I can pay you after. And you're sure about that? Of course, as long as you help, that is. Wait, then I'd have to pay you for that, too. Never mind. No, two thousand's enough. That's what we agreed on, so that'll be the price. With what you gave me, that leaves fifteen hundred. 
You're the best. I'll see you bright and early at the bar, then. Thanks again for everything. Sleep tight. Guess it's time for introductions. Hey, you okay in there? Oh. Coming in. But he's not a bad guy. The landlady asked me to check on him now and then to make sure he's okay. Can I ask you to do the same? Sure. Well now, you must be Cloud. I'm Marl, your landlady. So how'd you like the place? You from up on high? I've been around. I'll bet. No matter. All kinds come through with all kinds of reasons. If you ever need an ear to bend, I'll lend you mine. It can be about anything, even Tifa. What's she to you? The granddaughter I never had. And if you hurt her, I'll take it out of your hide. You hear me? Loud and clear. Good. Now you'd best get a move on to Seventh Heaven. She's got a head start on you and then some. That landlady, Marl. She's always looking out for the neighborhood girls. She never can afford. What's gonna happen to Midgar? 
It was just one reactor, dear. My husband decided to go to the sea. Just imagine if rich people stopped. Is it just me, or are there more cats hanging around that vacant lot lately? I think they're coming from the children's center. Hey man, check it out. This song's pretty sweet, ain't it? You like it? You feel it? Have a copy. Still rocking out to that song I gave you, bro? Must be that friend of Tifa's I've heard so much about. The mercenary? I've got fingers in a few pies myself. Work with a lot of businesses. Even Seventh Heaven, on occasion. <laughs> what I'm saying is, you and me, we're not so different. And certainly not complete strangers. In fact, I want you to think of me as family. You know, an uncle or maybe a distant relative. Shops on Culvert Street stock goods you won't find in more reputable establishments. So I was at the honey. Suppose I could start looking for a part-time gig. Or... You were right, boss. It was those avalanche terrorists that bombed the reactor. We won't let them beat us. Not ever. Right. Once the train. It's times like this. Which is better? Everything looks great on you. We're not making this easy. if you see trouble.
swear all the plate side jobs are one off things. Lots of it's the source of all life. The life stream, right? One day I'll turn on the TV. If they know you're from down here, they're gonna try to screw you over regardless. Fear is in the mind. Fear is in the mind. Even our facilities are starting to look a little run down. Don't you think? Everybody does. You gotta do something about it. After a thousand, you'll be ready to hit up Jesse. Uh, we're helping the watch keep You watch. can do it. Push it to the limit. So it looks like you're having a bad town. day. We'll be the first to warn everybody. The best girl. We gotta do something about the monsters on Scrap Boulevard. Everybody does. We keep putting off maintenance. Mm -hmm. It's the little places that work. Shoot this one out once before. He was really upset about the trash smell. Stay focused, even on break. It's the little noises that worry. Trains don't start moving again. Searching for candidates. One dude in the watch. It's just me, or there more spacemen. <laughs> oh, they're cute. There's this one dude in the watch. But didn't she send money back home? I'm not gonna let you sleep over. Huh? She wanted to think we could get a lot more people than usual. You never know. The sector ain't late. If the planet's a living being, if the planet's a living being, we should be learning more about it. I think we all know that most topsiders look down their nose. I feel real sorry. Just so you know, Marlene's still asleep. <sighs> Let's get down to business, shall we? Huh? These water filters won't replace themselves. <laughs> Although the next batch probably could, if Jesse put her mind to it. Most every home in the area has one. Folks love them, because they practically eliminate the rotten egg smell. Honestly, they make us more money than this place. And it's easy money, too. We bring new filters, collect the old ones, and get paid. What? <sighs> Give me a break. I'm not a salesman. I'm a soldier. Which is why no one will refuse to pay. What do you say? Uh. Please? <sighs> well, let's get this over with. Great. And while we're at it, I'll give you the grand tour.
go ahead and keep whatever we collect. Seeing as you didn't bring any luggage, I'm guessing there's stuff you need to buy. Thanks. And don't worry, we'll pay you the difference after. Day. Barrett's out making his rounds too. Don't take your eyes as long as I get it all today. Hey there. Here to change out your water filter. Tifa, baby, how you doing? Been waiting for you to... Wait, who is he? Cloud's in charge of collections. He'll take your money. Sounds like a pretty sweet gig. If you ever need someone to fill in, I'm your man. In your dreams, maybe. Huh? Cloud! Uh, since we're here, maybe we should do a little shopping. Suppose I could take a look? Thanks. If you're ever in the market for anything else, drop on by. Especially if Teeth is with you. We'll see you around, okay? And let us know when your filter next needs changing. He's a regular. Stock up here and he might throw in a freebie or two. For you, maybe. <laughs> 